before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Huh. That's actually That's really scary. <laughs> That's so scary. She's, she's done. Uh, she's done. I'm out. She's out. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to a special edition of Miked Up Sports. We are calling an audible because this is my show and I get to make the rules and break them. That's what's great about these podcasts. But if you've been watching our podcast theories over the last couple of years, you know it's an oral history session. But we thought a fun way to invite some former guests and maybe introduce new faces along the way is putting some friendships to the test through quizzing each other. So, welcome to the inaugural friendship quiz if you watch the gq couples quiz series that's where we got the genesis for this idea but who says it has to be limited to couples we have two best friends here rachel kawicki and cassie karen both have appeared on our podcast series cassie you've appeared quite a bit actually you are the only guest who has appeared for two teams okay. and since we last uh, <laughs> caught up with rachel she has added to her Holy Angels school record of section titles. Unfortunately, didn't get to play in a couple of those state tournaments due to COVID precautions, but that wasn't the case this winter. These two got to play in the state girls basketball tournament. And I imagine <laughs> after everything that has happened in the last year and then the abrupt end of the fall season, we'll do a little pregame before we get into this quiz. How satisfying was it to at least get to play in a state tournament again? I can go and go for it. Um, well, okay, so I <laughs> I definitely missed it. I missed the atmosphere. I missed like the feeling of being like, hey, I'm playing in a state tournament. And especially like um, soccer was supposed to go to state, but volleyball, I think we could have done it. Um, <laughs> But so it's just like you are left with that unfinished type of business. And so this is a way to kind of finish that season and end it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially with, you know, soccer being ranked number one in the state and not losing. I mean, it was kind of like the book wasn't closed. Like we weren't, I felt like we weren't done after we beat Viz. And it was just, it was just that weird atmosphere. And same thing with football, right? We beat Orin, we beat Orin in overtime to go to state and it's like, that's it. You're done. It's just, it's just like, a, it's a weird. And it just to find out that we are going to have a state tournament and that our last game wouldn't be at home against Benil, Like it was, it was satisfying for sure. So Rachel, I do want to ask you this. When I had you on last time, you already had set the school record for most section titles at Holy Angels. Now you're the first athlete with 10 and maybe the first to win two section titles in one season with soccer and football. So Rachel, what do you make of this history you've been adding to your own legacy in the schools? And how hard is it going to be for anyone to catch you? Because Cassie's gonna have another year, but she's gonna to have to pick up the pace if she wants to make a run at you. Right, It's um, I definitely credit my teammates, right? I, I mean, that's what's so great about team sports. I wouldn't got there without Cassie, without like my whole entire teammates, right? For soccer too. It's kind of one of those things where individual sports, I always say I credit like individual athletes, but the team sports are where I feel like it gets tough just because everyone needs to be good and everyone needs to be a team when you, when you want to be successful. And same thing with football. It was like me and Grace decided that we wanted to go out and kick and it was a team effort and like I said, I could not, if you would have told me that, I feel like we talked about this last year. Like I want to play football when I like, we, I wish I would have, well, foreshadowing it happened, <laughs> but no, for sure. Definitely credit my teammates. And I mean, if you would have told me, like I said, told me eighth grade year. Yeah. You would have said you would have beat Megan Meyer and set the school record and then add on to that. I would be like laughing in your face. I'd be like, that's funny. There's no way we're going to go to 10. So for sure. Well, Rachel, I hope you kept your receipts because I think you'd be laughing at your own face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and you're right. I think we did joke about you playing football, but I thought you would have fit as like a linebacker. A kicker makes sense too with your soccer background, but I thought, hey, you know, with you being the athlete and as physical as you are, I thought, oh, you'd be at the linebacker, secondary, maybe up on the D line, but 
Listen, well, they kickers count to put, too. Woods, listen, Woods wanted me to put put me on a kickoff to some, rail some kid, and then Marshak was like, "Let's not do that." <laughs> I was like, "Why not?" That would have been so fun. I was like, "Jack the kid, oh, missed opportunity." Yeah, I would have done the. Hey, Cassie, I'm... let's practice some tackles. <laughs> okay. I would like to think, Rachel, I would like to think that Coach Marshak was thinking ahead and wanted to preserve you for basketball. I don't think he doubted your ability to tackle, but he yeah, knows, hey, not. they- What's it like, what's like, just go do it. I don't care. <laughs> what's, I don't, I don't care. Like, hey, this, this whole Angels team, they go to state all the time in girls basketball, so we can't really lose Rachel. <laughs> uh, that does get me to a point because uh, Rachel, I guess I wanted to give you an opportunity to explain yourself because when I had your teammates on last winter and Cassie and Frankie and Grace, there was a conclusion that you would be the most likely to win a fight. Would you concur with this opinion? Yes. <laughs> yes. Literally my first, so like obviously I committed to Gustavus. So like I've been meeting a bunch of girls and from softball and basketball and literally they come watch me play and they're like, you're just a psycho. I'm like, I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a teddy bear. Like you just, I'm hard on the outside, but you once you get to know me, I'm an, I'm an, I'm a good, I'm a chill. I'm chill. <laughs> She's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> you really got to search for that chill and teddy bear part. Um, sometimes I still wonder where it is. <laughs> Rachel Kowicki, the psychotic teddy bear. <laughs> you, know, you know what? This is a really weird and specific reference, but this just reminds me, if you follow the Pokemon franchise at all, of Beware, because Beware, is, no. wants, to, Beware wants to come at you in the anime and in the G8 games. It wants to, <laughs> he's aggressive towards you because he or she just wants to give you a big hug. And I'm like, that sounds like Rachel. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna come after you. <laughs> I just Google the picture of Beware for her, so because she's not a big Pokemon girl. Okay, I I've played every generation of the oh RPGs. Oh my, oh my, she's she's just out of the out of, out of the yeah. You're just that, striking out today. You you realize that? I know, I got two strikes. <laughs> and softball season hasn't started yet. I seriously get it together, center fielder. Get it together, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so no, that's okay because it's like I've I've been playing Pokemon I think since before you two were bored. So I would give you a pass if you didn't quite pick up on it because I remember the craze in G one, and it's like uh, yeah, it, it just won't die. <laughs> but <laughs> there are far worse addictions to have. So okay, well at least we've established that. So that everyone i know you're mentioning earlier everyone wants to get behind rachel i don't know if any other teammate has that kind of support but rachel it sounds like you <laughs> you've got some defenders know, and they act like say like if it's a five on one like i could compete with like one per like i give me like two people and, and they're just gonna overwhelm me like you guys need to like support me in some way it's right so when you get knocked down i'll push you back up oh okay, you should push me back up. keep going <laughs> it's all rachel mean. against the flying v let's see how that God. works <laughs> now I will ask you this, since I was looking over the questions you had sent me and I'm doing that to follow along, but if I'm correct and I'm looking this over, one of them did not involve when the two of you first met. So I think it's safe for me to ask that without spoiling any answers. So, did, there's wait. a spider, sorry, there's a spider. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're not careful, one of you could turn into spider Gwen. Or, <laughs> If, if, if you're not careful, one of you could turn into Spider Woman and end up in the next oh, into the Spider Verse me. movie. Oh, my God. God, God. Uh -oh. I, got, I got it. We're good. We got it. Arm. You see, I wish I would say this. I, I, I guess I'm going to go deep into the Pokemon thing. I'm like, if they were only as cool as Galvantula, where they had an ability that allows you to fire off thunders at 91% accuracy, then I'd be 91%. like, you know, I, don't get me started. Instead of, instead of 70. Accuracy. You see, but it's like they don't. They just do stuff <laughs> and crawl around. So where was I? Yes. Yeah, so the, neither of you asked where you met, if I'm correct. So I, I feel safe asking this question. Do you remember when the two of you first met and how your friendship has grown since then? What has led to this camaraderie? Um, I don't remember like the exact, um, but so Rachel and I went to the same grade school 
And so it probably was preschool at this point. I mean, yeah, because you do three year old preschool and four year old preschool. And so when I was three, Rachel was four. And so I'm guessing we met then. Um, but we've had a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> we um, have. Um, but no, definitely one of my best friends. And um can't imagine without you, but <laughs> yeah, I mean it's like growing up, we kind of had this set, like five of us that like hung out all the time from Blessed Trinity. And it's kind of stuck through high school, which I think is super, like, we're super grateful for. Like, me and Cass, Mary Foley is one of them. Matthew Cohen plays football for Holy Angels. And Carrie Wormka, like, the five of us have been super close and kind of stuck through it, through all in all. So that's what's been kind of cool about it. Did any of the ups and downs involve Rachel tackling you, Cassie? No. (laughs) That's some cap. (laughs) That's some cap. No um maybe I don't know (laughs) but no definitely like one of the things that we faced was Rachel at high school and me being a year younger um so it's definitely we're gonna have to face that in the upcoming years with her down at Gustavus me at Holy Angels and then me at Missouri but if anybody can get through it pat 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 pat. (laughs) well at least we've established that Rachel has her limits as far as people she will pick fights with (laughs) No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Rachel, I've covered Rachel over the years. Anyone do not get the impression that Rachel goes out and punches people in the face. Yeah, no, no, she is. No, <laughs> she, she, I refrain. What would sometimes. Jesus do? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's Easter season. <laughs> it was Easter weekend. It's, I appreciate that because for me, it's one of my uh, philosophies is what would Ryan Reynolds do? And in his case, it would take nothing seriously and just make it completely silly. So that's what I try to do. Just make it completely ridiculous and over the top, you know, why fight when you can have fun and <laughs> get right. some laughs. So I feel like we're so worried. This sounds, this is kind of, I feel like we're so worried on the basketball court with like, like babysitting Frankie. We're like, we can't really focus on what's going on. Like Frankie, Frankie, it's fine. Frankie, oh, it's okay. Foul. Frankie, no, no, no you're it's okay. okay. It's okay. You're fine. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Keep going. You're fine. Maybe <laughs> sitting Frankie. I didn't know. Frankie, you're good. Frankie, you're foul. Okay. No. <laughs> I was like babysitting Frankie. I'm like, look what she's been doing. I don't, I don't think she needs anybody to babysit her. She's no. been balling sometimes, it for the last. Sometimes the refs. Sometimes, man, she gets okay. In- yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, you're good. You're, you're fine. Okay. I know you got hung on, but it doesn't, we're up by 40. It doesn't matter okay. anymore. It doesn't matter. Uh, well, I know that's another thing, I guess, Rachel, you're going to have to push. I forgot. Not only are you going to have to navigate without Cassie, but like, yeah, no Frankie and no Grace. And it's yeah, going to be so weird. Like you've had quite with, the I've, nucleus, right? I've like playing with Frankie since like third grade. It's going to be weird next year without like the same group of people, but I'm definitely kind of ready. I love you. I love you a lot. I want you to know that. But I, I, I feel like I'm kind of ready to kind of move on and grow as a player with, a, I mean, not just a different coaching staff, but like new sets of girls too. It'll, it'll be exciting for a new change. And not only that, you get to do it in two sports. In two sports. Yes. It'll be exciting. I will be dead. I'll be tired. <laughs> what, what happened to soccer? I think you would have fit right in there. Okay. Literally. <laughs> so we go, we go, we drive down to Gustavus, down to St. Peter for my like commitment pictures and all that, whatever. And Coach Kelly goes, they're sitting with my parents. I was meeting up with the basketball girls. And she goes, she's not doing three. <laughs> like she literally says, she's like, she's not doing soccer too. I know like Gustavus soccer coach was like lucky like recruiting her during the season. And she goes, she's not doing three. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to do three. Are you kidding me? Well, even Rachel has her limits. <laughs> God, God, I'm done. <laughs> Put the gloves away. I'm done. Well, not just yet. <laughs> Not, just, Not yet. just yet, because you, you you can put the high school gloves away soon, but those college gloves and jerseys are ready. Right. And one more question, since this also did not appear in the quiz. What led you to change from 34 to 54 in basketball? That that was like, Listen that is not this. a number I expected I you to have. 34 for four years. We walk into the gym. Okay. Mind you. The public service announcement, do not let men order jerseys for <laughs> women's sports. We've established this multiple times and we still do it. Woods got me a, me- was it a medium. I think so. it was a medium. Okay. Y'all I'm not a medium. <laughs> no way I could fit into that. And I go, I cannot wear this Jersey. 
and they were going to order me another one, but it would have taken like two months to get here. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. Just give me 54. It doesn't matter. But I was like, what? Danny, I've been four for four years and you just, well, she's a medium. I am not a medium. <laughs> I was a little upset. Well, um, and it's sad because now she goes after me in the, um, like lineup or whatever. And it's always been me last. And it's now it's like, Oh, Cassie's next. And that know it's depressing. <laughs> Was there any moment, Caster, where you thought about changing your number to like 55 or going really, really <laughs> no. high up? Like, no, <laughs> no, she can never do that to her sister. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's well, always been 42 and always will be 42. <laughs> so, okay. Well, hey, that's Jackie Robinson's number too. So the, yeah, there's, some, there's some lineage there. <laughs> going to your baseball, softball background too. So yeah. here is how this friendship quiz works. Cassie and Rachel wrote up 20 questions. I think they went to the same site, but again, the only rule <laughs> is that this is supposed to be fun. So whoever goes first, the other person might have an edge. That being said, the only rule is make it fun. But they asked each other roughly 20 questions. They have the questions on their phones. I have been promised that neither of them have revealed the answers to each other. I guess we'll find out based on how many you get right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, cheaters. <laughs> No way she would have known that. Now, if the score ends up being like 30 out of 20, then I'll know something's up. Right. I know all of them. I I read your mind, actually. No, you didn't get it. 30 out of 20. I know. That's the joke. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) I I think the two of you have picked up on different jokes here or different references. Just go. Just go. (laughs) So they've asked each other roughly 20 questions. 20, 21, give or take a few. Again, we set the rules and then we break them here. So I don't know if you decided who wants to go first, but we will do our best to follow along and whoever okay. wins will get some bragging fancy, rights. yes, bragging rights. I don't have any cash prizes, unfortunately. And with the two of you becoming future NCAA athletes, I gotta be careful with that. With, I know. You know, Cause there are a lot of silly rules and I don't wanna get myself in a controversy. <laughs> so who wants to go first or did you decide already? I'm going to ask Rachel. All right. For... Now, did you win? I was before we start, Cassie, did you win via coin toss or was it a mutual decision? Democracy? How did this? How did you uh, get dictatorship? Over? Dictatorship. I dictatorship. Said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> big upperclassman can, can boss me around. The big junior. So Rachel is King Arthur and Cassie is the part of the democracy following peasants if you watch <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail and yes. pick up on that reference. Oh, Monty Python. That's so Wait, good. do you want to just go back and forth? Like I asked one, you asked one? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Well, I was going to say, I think, well, Cassie, if you want to go first, it'll be, I think it'll be easier to keep track if we do one, you know, one at a time. If, uh-huh. Then we try to go back and forth. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. And then we'll find, you know, and you what, we'll find out if it's easy to alternate, then we'll go that route. But so Cassie, we will start with you, and I have all the answers next to me on the monitor, so I will help kind of judge if necessary. <laughs> I'm going to leave the primary judging to you two, but if you need any arbitration from me, I have the list right here. So when okay, you are ready, when you're ready, Cassie, okay, the clock starts now. Okay, what is my favorite color? Okay, this can go two ways. I know you're a big fan of blue, but I also know that you're a big fan of orange because of the sunsets at your grandparents' house. Okay, so what's your final answer? Orange. Okay. Yes! <laughs> um, what's my favorite TV show? Oh, this is easy. We just watched it together. Heartland. Okay. Um, favorite sport? Basketball. Yeah. Um, favorite place to spend my weekends when I get the chance? Um, I feel like I'm gonna say the farm in Cottonwood. But this could also be your grandparents' house in Cottonwood as well. Like, it could be switched. Okay, yeah. Do you know I what I mean? It, yeah. Like, because you're both both your parents' grandparents live down there. Um, favorite place to eat? Canes. <laughs> Wait, so, Cassie, are you giving her that a point yeah. for that last question? Yeah, I am. Because <laughs> it's like, I just love being out there in general. I mean, so, either place, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so we've established that Cottonwood is her favorite place to be. And yep, then, yep, yep, yeah. So, we're, we, we're through question five, and Rachel, you're five for five. All right, keep going. Um, favorite song? It's a Blake Shelton song, isn't it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> is 
Isn't Austin by Blake Shelton? <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Too easy! Okay. Um, favorite candy. Kit Kats. I eat them too much. <laughs> okay, so this is just like hard, easy be for you because all of these are easy questions. Okay, what do I want to study in college? So you want to be a vet, but you want to be like an equine vet, so like a like a like a like a big animal vet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go past the answer I had. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Uh, biggest pet peeve. This has to do with your family. Like, I know it is. There's so many of you. Why don't, like, when people just come into your room in general, I'm gonna say that. That's close. I mean, yeah, it's like when they come into my room and don't close the door. So, like, it's a typical pet peeve, you know? Yeah. Just give me half a point. Half, <laughs> half a, point, a point. Half a point. Half a point. Half a point. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Half point. Okay. Does pineapple belong in pizza? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Um, what's my most embarrassing moment? Oh, I got this one. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, freshman year, Cassie Karen walking out with a big group of us. We're going to get food after a Friday night game. And what do you think Cassie does on the ice? Cassandra Karen slips in front of every single person in the parking lot, just yard sales, in front of everyone. That's a freshman. I already knew it. I knew it. I got ladies, that is just, that is, yep. Yep. <laughs> Do I prefer staying in or going out? I feel like it depends, it depends who you're with. Like, if you're with your boyfriend, I feel like you want to stay in. But if you're with, like, friends, you want to go out. Yeah, like, we always go out and stuff. Yeah, we always go out. That's, that, that's, a, that's hard, I guess. Um, Do I get the point? Well, I said going out, so... I mean, it's a uh, half point. <laughs> half point. <laughs> that was I, that is subject to who you're with. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah uh, because Rachel, yeah, I would agree. I think we've established that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that is a strange question if the answer depends on who you're with, Cassie. <laughs> like, wait. So how do we? I feel like I'm this? being super in depth. I okay. feel like I'm being super in depth. But, like, and I'm getting punished for that. Okay, so if I'm with Mason, we'll go out and get food. And then come back to- And then come back <laughs> in! <laughs> well, give me the point! I get the you point. have to go out to get- I get the point! <laughs> you have to go out to come back in! Unless exactly! You agree. Um, okay. Sneakers or heels? Sneakers, because you don't want to be taller than your date. <laughs> it's okay, I'm the same way, so I can't even- That's not even one of my questions, I'm the same way. <laughs> Um, what's my favorite record? That you own? Yeah. Probably Star Wars. Hey, don't, you, don't you own a Star Wars one? Yeah. Was it? Which one do you own? Is it? A New Hope or Return of the Jedi? It's just like the entire. Just the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. It's so Star entire. Wars. She has a record player in her room. <laughs> I'll say the other answers, Rachel, that would have been acceptable are Brian Adams or Rocky Three. Okay. Yeah, I like those <laughs> ones. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, I basically <laughs> gave this one away. <laughs> what is my biggest fear? Oh, I wonder. Spiders. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy! <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm telling you, Cassie, Spider Woman, it, it'd be a cool gig. No, I literally hate spiders so much. Like, I don't even know what it is because it's like, oh, they help the environment so much, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, well, why do they look like that? Why do they have eight legs? Why do you always look like that? <laughs> Why, Why do you have like eight that? legs and you're charging at me? Or crawling on, how are they able to crawl on a wall? You know, that's creepy. That's, that's creepy. creepy. Yeah. Next question. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> who's my first celebrity crush? Yeah, we just got on Netflix. It's a kid from Big Time Rush. Which one? Oh God, guys. <laughs> We used to oh. watch this all the time. We know! Oh my god. Um, um, it's the tall dude, right? With the long, kind of longish hair. Is it Kendall? <laughs> the tall dude with the long hair, right? I should, okay. And then I thought about this. So we watched Sandlot this weekend. And then it was like, oh, I think my actually first, like, sub request was Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Yeah, that's a fair. That's fair. Yeah. Who plays, um, Dali in the Outsiders? 
Oh. What's his name? Dally from the. Um, hold on, guys. Pause. Yeah, pause. I'm, Googling, <laughs> I'm Googling it right now. Because that. Yeah, no. Because we watched the Outsiders movie when. Hold on. Yes. The cast. Guys, pause. Pausing <laughs> the quiz. <laughs> No, yeah. no, no, no. It was I, maybe, hey, I know, but it yes, was so. Yes, it's the minister again. So Rob Lowe, Rob, young Rob Lowe. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, next hey, question. Cassie is the one administering the quiz, so like, hey, you don't have to ask me to pause because I'm not the one asking the questions. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> like, wait, time out, guys. <laughs> time to look this up. It'll be like saved by the bell. You know, time out, and I'll just freeze, right? I know, right? Okay, who am I most likely to hang out with in my free time? Me, <laughs> Kaylee, <laughs> Gabe, Gaber. <laughs> um, I was your boyfriend, Mason. I would say like, like, if you're hanging out with me and like my Gus Davis friends, probably Morgan too. Okay, well, you said everybody on the list I had. Okay, well, I added Morgan, it. Morgan, <laughs> Kelly. Like, she's like, she's hung out with my Gus Davis friends too. Yeah. If you get one, you get the other. Yeah, it's kind of how that works. I said, if you don't like her, then too bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, tough. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> okay, what's my middle name? Marjorie. That was an easy question. I feel like I put that one down too. <laughs> Lee. Oh, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Rachel Lee. Um. Okay. What are three items I always have with me? Okay. Your phone. Yeah. Your wallet. Yeah. I'm gonna say either your key your keys. I'm gonna say keys. Well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna have more than three. Or gum. And now, since we've started wearing masks, I would say chapstick too, because your mouth gets really dry. <laughs> I also have my cup with me all the time. Oh, and her cup, yep. Yeah, never go anywhere without it now. Wait, stop, we got a special to people. It's the Kentucky Derby cup she got when she drove back from <laughs> Christmas break, everyone. Isn't that fancy? Sorry. It's my favorite thing. Okay. Okay. Um, Favorite genre. Of country. Music? Okay, oh, just okay. Stop, just stop. <laughs> just country. Favorite genre. It could have said movies. Like favorite, what's my favorite genre of movies? It's like rom com. Rom com. I feel like you're a rom com person. That's not even one of the questions. Um, That's not even one of the questions. who's my best friend? I feel like I'm gonna say me and then you're gonna yell at me for saying that. Say you. Me. No, it's Jesus. <laughs> you. You didn't get that right. That's one question oh, she didn't get right. <laughs> You know damn straight. You know damn straight. I am on there too. You just, you just lied about it. <laughs> no, it's Jesus. I only put Jesus on there. Bass cap. I know she's, she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Jesus in parentheses and be like, if she says me, then I'm gonna be like, Jesus. <laughs> I have the list and I can screen share this if you want proof. But share it, yeah, please. Just... Screen share it, Mike. Screen share it. I'm calling Cap right what? now. Well, you know what? Maybe maybe I shouldn't because I don't want to give away your email address, and then you get I don't I don't want deranged Spider Man fans coming after you, <laughs> <Sorry>. Cassie. <laughs> so oh, you'll just have to take my word for this because it's like no, I don't want these Spider Man fans to <laughs> stalk her over her fear of spiders. I know, like because you, you you've oh. seen those Tom Holland stand. I mean, they go all in since you enjoy the MCU. But the answer to the last question. Who's my bestest friend? It was Jesus or Rachel, I guess. So you did get that one right. I do want to know, though, uh, it wasn't in there, but Cassie, did she get that question about movie genres right? She said rom-com. And, and I'm, I want to know. Like, I would say, like, yeah, I guess. And, like, action. Yeah, I want to say, I say yeah. either action or rom-com. Because, like, obviously obsessed with the Marvel movies and stuff. And, like, <laughs> Harry Potter. Yeah. And so... But I do like rom-coms. Like, um, have you ever seen The Proposal? Yes. So it's good. So good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. What's the movie? Um, It was on HBO where they are like, stuck at a wedding. And then it's like a parallel where like the day keeps replaying. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up later. Yeah. It's, it's so See, good. Yeah. Looks like I know what we're watching. I know we're watching <laughs> that. And so I was like, I know it's not Groundhog Day because I know that one is where the same day keeps replaying. Oh, or... is it Palm Beach? Hold on, I think it's Palm Beach. Palm yeah, Beach, like, I, it, like, is that your first time typing? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not. Uh, Wait, drama comedy? No, it's not. It's not no. Palm Beach. It's on HBO. 
I'll have to we'll we'll do some we'll do some googling after this. After this. <laughs> I do that all the time on my podcast, so it, it's all right. But it's like the only time travel loop movies that I know of are Groundhog Day and Edge of Tomorrow, and I'm like, yeah, neither of them fit into the rom com. Well, Groundhog Day is more of a rom com, but it's like, yeah. I don't think... <laughs> Uh, well there's happy death day that yeah that's really, it right there yeah happy death day that yeah that that's yeah i'm not a big horror fan so like those, uh, those... i'm not either <laughs> i'm like convinced i'm like it's literally so funny like i watched it with a coworker. oh no oh no i gotta find it on hbo so while rachel is googling and exercising her curiosity or engaging her intellectual curiosity i'm looking at this list and i would say rachel got 20 and a half <laughs> 20 and a half out of 21 i expect that better. you know you know i take that yes the half point came at the biggest pet peeve because you were on the right track so you know i can't make him think we're just you know we're perfect you know yeah um <laughs> okay are we ready i'm gonna do so what? bad no you're not i believe in you listen listen i believe in you i believe in you she's got it in the okay, bag true if you did get 20 out of 20.5 out of 21 i feel like i can get that okay. yeah rachel will throw the bonus question just to <laughs> yeah, right. actually what, hey. what's my hey. biggest time in? <laughs> hey you know what you can't i know you gave me 20 but who says you have to stop there all right so all right now it's rachel's turn to put cassie in the hot seats so okay. rachel when you are ready the clock starts now ready? yeah okay yes. what's my favorite tv show okay so obviously wandavision right as of right now yes but don't Didn't... you also like mandalorian a lot too yeah and then she's well, gonna keep so we, going i know because we a lot of them we were so like because we watched supergirl together and yep. we were like like super like into that like seventh to eighth grade year yep. but we also into the flash dc legends we were just into everything like marvel and dc dc right so i like no i get no i give you marvel, the point any oh okay i give, <laughs> no, I give, you, there. The, I give <laughs> you the point because on my list i had supergirl and one division on there but i also really love the 100 that that show i read all the books oh, after i watched that. it you need to Okay. Watch Another WandaVision show. first and then go back and watch that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, what's my favorite color? Yeah. What's my favorite place to eat? Canes. That's why we're such good friends. <laughs> I drive her to Kane. Um, what's my favorite candy? Twix. You have a bag I literally, in her life. I literally have and a pack of every them. practice. She's sitting there. I literally every like my birthday. Someone, no, 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 listen. Someone goes, hey, can I have one? Rachel gives them the Death Star and is like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like, okay, you can keep your Twix. Okay, literally for my birthday, they literally, I got probably four bags of Twix from people. And I just keep them in my, in my top of my locker. And I was like, no. Yeah, sometimes she leaves her locker open and I don't ask. Yeah, I know. And, just, like, and I'm I like, the so bag's <laughs> kind of light today, guys. And Cass is like, what? Me with all the rappers in my locker. Yeah, that's <laughs> literally rappers. She's even trying to hide it. Like she's like, Shh. oh, you, you're unbelievable. Okay, go staying in or going out. Okay, it's subject. <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely a going out person, but it's also like you like to stay home and game, right? Yeah. And so it's like kind of depending on your mood because sometimes you can be very bipolar about it. Because sometimes you'll be like. I just want to stay in and I'll be like, okay, like we can just order a pizza or something. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, you're, we're two different, like we're the same person, right? Depends on who we're with, I, what we're feeling. Half a point, half a point. I gave you the full point. No, you did not. Yes, I did. Fine. You got the half a point on my pet peeve. Oh, you're right. You're right. Full point for Cassie because it's going out, but it's subject to who I'm with or what my mood is that day. And if, any, and if anybody hijacked your Twix. <laughs> Period. Oh, don't Rachel, even start it. Is this, the, is, this is probably not a good idea, Rachel, but when you said Twix, I'm like, you know what? I ordered like a 
because my portions have gotten smaller over time, but like through Amazon, I got this giant bag of mini Twix with the white chocolate cookies and cream and regular. Like that is become my <laughs> God. Twix. So I, Rachel, if I go to your graduation party or anything, I, I know what to bring. Like <laughs> you're going to get oh, all the Twix. Like all the, all the gift cards and stuff like, no, just bring me a Twix. <laughs> so, and the, just bring me a Twix. Or Twix ice cream or. Uh, oh God, Twix ice cream. The little like bar, the candy we bars. After yeah, we're getting okay. that after. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. We're, we're, all right, we're fast question five. <laughs> Favorite genre of music? Country. The, that's not even a question. That's not even a question. Uh, what's my middle name? We already just- Lee. Lee. <laughs> Rachel Lee. Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> right, funny. Well, at one point during a basketball game, we're dribbling down the court, and she goes, Rachel Lee, she calls me Rachel Lee, like full, and I'm like, what did she just say to me? Like, what? I do remember saying that. Yeah, and then you told everyone my middle name was Lee, and that was like a topic of conversation with okay. everyone for like 25 minutes okay, after well, the Lee's game. Okay, better than Marjorie. I love Marjorie, it's her grandma's name. That's adorable. <laughs> me, me and my mom have the same middle name, we kind of pop off like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was really sassy. That was really sassy. Okay, next question. If I could play a sport that I don't already play, what would it be? What sports left? <laughs> okay, so you like you like physical sports. So like, if you hadn't picked up football, <laughs> I would say football. But like, <laughs> what's another? Like rugby? <laughs> <laughs> rugby. Um, hockey. Hockey is a physical sport. That is a physical sport. But you couldn't play girls hockey. <laughs> it would have to be boys hockey because otherwise you, you would just spend your entire time in the penalty box or thrown out because you checked someone. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of on it. I mean, My answer I was hockey. Say- I would, I mean, I would say half because she did say rugby first and with conviction, at least in my, I don't know okay. about you. Yeah, I don't, yeah, you kind of, you were kind of gaming on rugby there. I give you, I feel like it's a half a point. I feel like, I feel like that's fair. But, okay. But, you, hey, I could see Rachel at rugby. It's an Olympic sport now, so. <laughs> rugby sevens? Uh, yes. <laughs> I literally, people, I golf all the time over the summer with my family. And when people find out I golf, they're like, Huh? You golf? And I'm like, yeah, well, I play softball. Like, it's the same thing. We just kind of have a good time out on the course. And they're like, I feel like you get so pissed off. I'm like, okay, well, I do. But, like, it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Throws whips the club. You would Ridiculous. go all, you'd go all happy Gilmore and then fight Bob Barker. Literally. Oh, gosh. Me and my dad get into it sometimes. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, no. He'd be like, he'd be like, uh, what are you at, right? I'm like, oh, dad, I scored like a bogey on that hole. And he's like, that's not right. And I would count it off for him. And he'd be like, Oh, and I'm like, Dad, what did you get on the hole? <laughs> He'd be like, I'm not answering that question. And I'm like, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ken, that's what I thought. You probably Next got time. a, you probably got a double bogey, right? Right. He's like, <laughs> or, or a triple one, or no? He put, he pulled a happy Gilmore, and then he would, <laughs> it just go off the course. And... He's done. He's like, nope. He's like, I'm, I, I'm done <laughs> counting after nine. I better be careful, or Rachel's parents are gonna have a word with me. <laughs> they're gonna be like, <laughs> they're gonna be, Ken's gonna be like, actually, it's the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's trash at golf. I signed up. My first job was a caddy, but uh, I, I think broadcasting worked out, so I'll probably stick to the hat over caddy. I really wanted to be a cart girl this summer at a golf course. Like, hey, fun fact Lisa, my mom, is actually a state championship golfer. She, she is? Yeah. She won state. Wait, can we all go golfing together? That'd be so fun. You're probably, we're, we're gonna be terrible. But like, Lisa's, gonna, terrible. Lisa's gonna tear it up. She hasn't, she hasn't golfed in. Oh, that'd be so funny. We're, oh, we're all going, we're all going. Next question, <laughs> we're all going, Lisa's, I don't care. You know, Lisa's gonna go golfing. Oh, I, I can see it now, Rachel and Lisa getting into the score. <laughs> Those two are gonna be the Lisa, ones getting into the Lisa, no. or birdies. Rachel, yes, Lisa, no. <laughs> Lisa, no. <laughs> Rachel. I got an I got an eagle that one. I can pro- <laughs> What have I done? I'm already regretting this stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, I got a hole in one and I'd be like, okay. They're like, what does that mean? <laughs> well like, I literally on the I price watched, is on the price is right it means you win a car. Right. I watched I was watching we had Easter at my house last night and we did like a like a like cornhole championship and I saw that. Yup. We got the dub. Me and Jake got the dub, you know. But um, 
we're watching golf because Jordan Spieth won his first tournament yesterday in like three years. And me and my mom, like we've, we've been fans of Jordan through thick and thin. Like we were so excited. And my dad had, they, his, during his work, they do like a little like inside tourney or like inside betting. So he had Hoffman like to win it. And he could have won something, he won like 35 bucks. It's like the whole entire time, like Jordan would birdie and me and my mom would go crazy. And then Hoffman would birdie or Jordan would bogey. My dad would go crazy. And my mom was like, how much money could you win anyway? And we're thinking like, I thought it was gonna be like 200 bucks. He's like $35. And my mom was like, pulls out $35 and hand it to him. We're like, shut up, Ken. <laughs> I got a funny. fun side note. I know we've been going off track. I kind of expected that, but uh, a couple of years ago when I was working Major League Baseball and I had to cover the, one of the team locker rooms as part of my job, Right. that same weekend was the Masters when it was held in its regular time slot. Of course, you know, Tiger Woods came back and won it. So <laughs> everyone, for the team that was batting, if they weren't due up or they didn't have to go to the on-deck circle, everybody was flocking to the monitors oh, <laughs> on sure. breaks to see if Tiger Woods could pull it off. Yep. Because that's the golfer I grew up watching. Funny story too, I discovered this like 1992, like I think it was around this time, in 92, almost 20 years ago, his first uh, PGA appearance as a 16 year old. Uh, didn't make the cut, but uh, we, we all know what happened Yep. <laughs> after that. So I, so it sounds like you're a big Jordan Spieth fan. I grew up with Tiger Woods, the, the golfer everyone couldn't get enough of. And yep. yeah, it was, I will say that was a cool moment getting to see Tiger one more time. Right. Uh, win, win one of the majors and <laughs> So sorry, Rachel, I, I'm a Tiger Woods fan. I hope you understand. It's okay, it's all good, I, I understand. It's right. fine, I'm not salty so, at all. If, if, you were jo if you joined us about two hours ago, I think we're up to question nine now, Rachel. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, okay, what's my biggest pet peeve? Oh, that's easy, because I've done it so many times and you get so mad. It's okay, so Rachel's like a big gamer. Like, you do not interrupt her gaming. And I've done it so many times and lots of things have been thrown at me as I walk down the steps and I'm trying to talk to her. So I have to say, it's like when someone comes and interrupts you while you're doing something here. <laughs> I mean, you're right, doing something here. Do it, I don't even, no, because my parents let her in, in the house. Like we have a Life 360 circle, like with our friends. And it's like, Cassie has arrived at my house's name, Honky Tonk. So like, Cassie has arrived at Honky Tonk, but I don't get the notification because I have my soundproof headphones in. I can't hear anything. So my parents just let her in the house and come downstairs and I'm in the middle of something. And you're just like, hey, Rachel, how are you doing? Said, no, I am in the middle of something. Yeah, okay. I have to duck. Rachel, you, you say that as if that was a bad thing. Oh, my parents let her in the house. <laughs> I know, I'm like, what is she doing? She's coming into my house all the time now? She's like, just walking. Is it like this the other way around, Cassie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. The amount of times like I've gotten out of the shower and I walk in my room like, <laughs> on my bed on her phone, like... With Kaylee on the floor. Kaylee's on the floor! I was like, wait. When you said shower, I'm like, oh, no. Like, wait, where is this going? No. That's what Cassie. Cassie. There's it's going to be like Toy Story 4 where Rachel is like stalking you and then leaps out of the bed. Cassie! <laughs> Like Bucky and Dunny, she just stalks you, and then once you get to your bed, she just runs. <laughs> Where's the key? Oh my gosh! That's what, this was enough. To, that is the one scene I think I. It's like that is the, honestly the first time I've ever cried from laughing at a G-rated film. Yes. <laughs> because oh, because I'm like, this is. It's oh my, and now I'm giving you ideas. <laughs> I know, Cassie. Rachel's, gonna, Rachel's just gonna stop, follow Cassie. Inconspicuously, and then just sneak up. I'm doing it now. Oh, she's gonna pull a out. she's gonna pull a ducky and buddy, and then she'll and then she'll like grow into this ginormous thing and shoot lasers. And okay, what's funny about like just like coming into people's houses or like rooms? So obviously like, she's mad. I'm I'm rooming with Morgan Kelly, a good basketball commit, and we were talking with <laughs> with her. And I was like, you need to go futon shopping because you're going to be staying on the futon all the time. And then me and her kind of in like a bickering fight. Yeah. And Morgan's like, it's fine. Like, Cassie will just hang out with me when she comes down. Like, you don't even, you won't even know she shows up. You'll just walk into the room and Cassie will just be sitting on the futon. And I'm like, 
You son of a gun. <laughs> I'm like, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna open my my dorm room after like softball practice in the spring. And it's gonna be Cassie's like sprawled out. She's like, laying. She's like I have oh a key my god. Uh, she has a key. <laughs> She's got a key. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she'll just, I can see it now, she'll just take a casual stroll from Missouri Western. No, she's just... <laughs> Before her basketball season. Oh, yeah. God. She'll just, she... she'll just find a way to get to Northfield. Or, no, not, no, no, wait. Gustavus. Yeah, Gustavus. Yep. St. Peter. It's like, yep. no, Northfield is St. Olaf. Yep. I'm, no, literally, I'm... so she, she walks into practice today, and she's like, a Gustavus sweatshirt on. And I'm like, okay, I have to buy a Missouri Western shirt now. She walks in, she's like, my sweatshirt. Look at my sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I see you, girl. I'll go purchase one right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it today. Relax. I'll do it as soon as you buy that sweatshirt. I'll watch one of the videos. <laughs> I think that's the closest thing we've come to a Rachel death stare. In fact, she's doing it now. I know she's. <laughs> like... <laughs> Ask your next question. Okay, sorry. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> You said it, we can win it. You want to win it? Okay, next question. Okay, you see me out in public, who am I with? Me. <laughs> um, okay, so me, but you could also be with Morgan, Jake, um, Matthew, or Katie. So just the Collins in general, yes. Um, Warm Coast, yeah. Your mom? Your mom, Sherry! Sherry! Let go. Just yourself. <laughs> just, because you're that. Rachel's that type of person, like, she doesn't need anybody to go anywhere. Like, I'm that type of person. I'm like, Kaylee, can we, like, go to Target or something? Like, I just don't want to go by myself. And Rachel's like, all right, I'm going to Mall of America by myself. And I'm going to go buy myself a pair of new boots. So, I mean. <laughs> I mean, you get the point. The only person you missed from my list was Kelly. Oh, okay. yeah. But, Sorry, okay. Kelly, if you're watching this. Kelly's like, are you kidding me? Love you, Kelly. I sound like a Savis girl. Yeah. So, so how okay. do we score that? I gave her a full point. You'll give her a full point. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Because, like, the warm cuz are, 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 I didn't even, like, I, that works, too. I just go out with the warm cuz a lot. So Cassie gets a full point, and she will get a nasty Instagram letter from Kelly. Kelly Brennan, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You hung out and you we had to sleep or you sleep next month. You know what? It's like, that's it. You're not watching WandaVision with me. Yeah. You're not you know when Hot Guys released in the fall and you want to come down and watch it with us? Can't do it anymore. Because me and Kelly, me and Kelly are Marvel freaks. Okay. Like she's we sent it. Yeah. Well, you know, if you watch the show, you could you we can make a group chat. We have a group chat. We don't send WandaVision. Next question. But no, literally we're talking like She's a total Marvel geek, and the Morgan's not at all. She's like, quit sending this into a fan, like, into our big group chat. And we're like, fine, we'll send them to each other then, because no one wanna wa wants to watch WandaVision. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do watch it. WandaVision. I think we've established that. Okay, next question. Where am I at? Where am I phone line? What's my biggest fear? I mean, I wanna say, like, because we've talked about this, is like getting injured. Um, I mean, obviously, like, ACL, but I just want to say, like, getting injured in general. Yeah, I'll give her that, because my, my, I said tearing a ligament, oh. but I give it. I give you that. Fun fact, um, Tuesday, at our game against Grand Rapids, we're doing our press, <laughs> and I, I go for, you know, me on the floor all the time. I tip the ball and I save it and like throw it to Cassie, but I fall right into the scores table, not like my hand first, and I get up and my knuckles dislocated. And I look at it and we're at a- We're at a free throw, like, cause I pass the ball to someone and they got fouled and we're sitting there like at the top of the key. Cause usually Rachel goes in and I'm, I'm like looking at her. I'm like, why are you not in there? Because I don't want to go in there. She goes, I think I dislocated my finger. I was like, what? She looks at And I'm, I was like, I'll pop that back in. That's nasty. <laughs> it was, it was will, not in the right place. I will not be showing video of that. I know I you had a podcast. You know, no, I want it. I, 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 we showed some clips of Rachel falling on the podcast when I had her on, but uh, yeah, I'm not. No, I'm not going that far. No, she's just so funny because she like looked at it and I was like, "What?" Do, I'm like, I was like kind of in shock, right? I like looked at it and I was like, "Uh," and she was popping back. In. I'm like. 
okay. And I popped it back. <laughs> it was like, there, there was a time where my thumb would like just randomly pop out of place yep. and it'd have to get, you, that happened to you too. And it's like, oh, like, ah. Uh, and then you just... Well, it's like, like goalkeeping and like catching and stuff. Like I've done so much like things to my fingers, like on my right side, it was in my right hand. So it was like, I, it like, didn't even hurt. Like it's swollen a little bit, but it's not too bad. But it was just like, what is going on? It's just like, pop it back in. <laughs> That was so funny. Okay. I bet you, I bet you it was that magic that you learned from WandaVision, right? My eyes just rewrote the reality that it didn't actually happen. Cassie's like, why did I sign up for this? We are never going to let her for No, I'm not. At my wedding, I will be like, remember when you didn't watch WandaVision for like six months? Okay, I will watch it. You can't be a, you can't be a bridesmaid until you watch it. Yeah. Oh, and it's like, I would love to have so much fun with references, but I can't because I'm I know, like, exactly! Like, <laughs> so you and I would be going back and forth, but <laughs> all of the tropes. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Where were we? So we, we've established her biggest fears during a ligament, and then now she just pops her fingers out. <laughs> What's the next question? Next question. This is the longest questionnaire I've ever had. I know. And What's I'm my... all for it. I love it, but it's like, I should have known, Mike. Like, Mike, you should have known this. You asked yourself for this, so you brought this on yourself, Mike. I have no one to blame but me. Okay. Um. Okay. Next question. What's my favorite song? Okay. Well, I know you wouldn't have picked a song that I'm thinking because it's definitely not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Because you listen Mike. to it like every day. Like it's not appropriate for the, for the podcast. <laughs> Um, He's like, what is it? <laughs> I'm guessing you, I'm guessing you, Rachel, from what I would say, you found some family friendly options. Yeah. If, if my list is correct. Well, okay, so if it's family friendly, it's either going to be like a Jake Owen song or Luke Combs. Okay. Well, what, what, what Jake Owen song? Down to the Honky Pot? Good job! Actually, yeah! Okay, can I tell him, like, the actual song that I would say? You don't have to watch- you don't have to listen to it, people! Yeah, don't- it, Don't okay. listen to it! Turn down your- bu- Turn down your- Plug <laughs> your hey, ears! Hey, hey, hey Rachel, no, what, Rachel, you, we'll, we'll pull- we'll pull one of those tricks from WandaVision to, you know, you know? <laughs> That that Cassie would understand if she had watched the series. She would watch the show. She okay. she would she well, okay. would know what Rachel and I are thinking. It's like, hey, we'll just. So this next this next question. Yeah, um, next question. This is this is this is open ended because I feel like this. What I actually put down, you're gonna be like, what? Like this is open ended. I'm taking multiple answers on this one. I changed mine. Okay, who is my who is my first celebrity crush? Well, <laughs> thinking. Okay, so we both have like those weird like. <laughs> okay, so we both have those weird like crushes like, like Nick Wilde from Zootopia. Yeah. Like it's just kind of <laughs> like you know. Yeah. But so your first one, like if it okay, so if we take that route, then your first one would be like Simba. Because it's, <laughs> it's Simba. I mean, who didn't have a crush on a lion? But if it's like, we talked about this also, if it was a person, it would definitely be Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Because, <laughs> because you can take two routes with you. It's either gonna be a person or it's gonna be that weird animal crush, you know? Because it technically was my first celebrity crush. So I did put Simba down. So you were correct. I did put Simba down because little two-year-old, three-year-old Rachel was like, that is an attractive looking lion. Right there. Yes. <laughs> that's right an there. Lion. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, get me out of here. <laughs> no, actually, because for a much different reason, The Lion King, that movie introduced me to both Elton John and Hans Zimmer. There you because go. both were involved in the musical composition. I didn't know who Hans Zimmer really was at that point until he became more famous with the Dark Knight trilogy, but like, yeah, and someone said too, that movie was the first Disney movie that didn't feel like a 
it didn't go along the lines of the Disney princess mold of the time. Right. So they, that, that's why I think it resonated so strongly is that it doesn't feel like a princess movie. Of course, now I'm, I'm like dying, but the secret fan of me is dying for a princess style Avengers movie since Disney's not afraid to reference themselves anymore. I'm like, that'd be kind of cool. Ready? Here we go. Here's my theory for end of Black Widow. I was talking to Kelly about this. What if the ending was something that Chris Evans shot before he was done being Captain America altogether, and it's him bringing the stone back to Vormir, and Nat, like, being Nat, Nat comes back, and then, boom, Nat's still alive. I refuse to believe well, how did that go? Nat okay. is still alive. Sorry. Okay, that was a huge side. I know, but we I was just here. thinking. You came I know. in. But I just, I just wanted, I wanted Mike to hear that because I, I like theorizing things, and you're just so out of the loop that someone needed to hear it. Me. No, oh, Cassie. Like, no, not you, Mike. Come on now. <laughs> we were talking about crushes on animals. I know, and we and go then... to Vormir, and uh, I just refuse. Should have been Clint. Next question. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Should have been Clint. Should have been Clint. Next question. Before we end up in the Battle of New York, yes. All right. Okay. So if I'm going out with my friends, if I'm like, if I'm going out with a Yumo, Jake, the squad, what am I wearing? Okay. Well, jeans, belt buckle. Boots, like you'd either like if it's more like casual, you'll wear your more casual boots. But if it's like kind of you'll because she has like multiple pairs of boots, and so it like kind of depends on what. Um, she obviously has got like a t-shirt or flannel on. Um, hat, hair up or down, depending again where we're going. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, you always got your cross on. Oh yeah, Doesn't... repping JC. <laughs> never, you never really wear earrings like I do. No. Um, you got a couple rings that she wears. Your class ring, um, one from your grandma. Mm-hmm. You hit that on the head. You... Oh, you killed it. Oh, okay. You hit that. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, did she say T-shirt? I think she did. Yep. Okay, I have the same question. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No! No! Absolutely not! Absolutely not. Okay, what is my favorite basketball highlight? I do like a generalization on this one. Oh, I couldn't pick a specific like not one. a specific? No. Because if it was specific, I would say like um, Gary getting hit in the head with basketball off an air ball. But if it's like a general thing, I gotta say like something UPG, like point guard Rachel. Point forward shell! Yes! Like you either like like throwing it long, like for Frankie to get or me. Not Becker. Shh. Frankie, next question. Okay. Or it's like you kicking out. But I'm like the only person you can kick out to because nobody else can catch your pass. <laughs> so that is accurate. So like either you throwing it long or like you kicking it out to me while you're dribbling it up. Yeah. I take that. If you get the point. I'm gonna say, I will say now. I did get that answer to it. So Cassie, what do, what are you doing? Like when she kicks out to you, what usually happens next? I make a three, <laughs> <laughs> or I drive baseline. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. <laughs> okay, we'll still give you the point, but it's uh, Rachel put down when I drive down the floor and kick out to Cass for the three. So I'm like, okay, when Rachel kicks out to you, what are no, you- No, because doing? it's so, because at one point we were playing- I suppose she's back out there because that's the only place she can catch your passes, right? Right, no, who we were playing was a, oh, something else. But it was one of like our like really kind of big games and there was a lot of people in the stadium. Like St. Croix? Was it St. Croix? Maybe. I don't know. But some people were giving her some, they're kind of trash talking her. And I'm sitting at half court. I take it out to her. And the minute it goes up, I knew it was going in. So the kind of gym's kind of quiet. And all you hear me go is splash. And I'm like this. And it goes in. And it was just so funny. What game was that? God, I don't remember. But it was really funny. Yeah, because they were giving me some crap. Was it Benil? I don't know. It was really funny. Real life. I was like, splash. <laughs> Rachel is my biggest hype woman. Always. I try my best. And come off for a time out. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Literally, that's why everyone thinks I'm a psycho. They're like, you're just so high energy. It's like, <laughs> you're just like, just like, they're like, do you ever take a break? I'm like, no, I shotgun a, an energy drink before every game. So I'm like, she's jacked. Jacked. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, what's the best is when like you get into softball season and then you can like, 
crack it open with your with your metal cleat. Oh yeah. You, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. She'd crack it and then shut oh, that's the best. Shotgunning it. It's the best. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> if I could go anywhere in the world right now, like right where would I go? I mean, we've talked about this, like you go into the dude ranch. I can't remember where. But like you and your mom going. You could take me with, you know. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I'll stick another. I have another one for this too. Well, I was like that or like Lake City to golf or like to the farm with me or to Target Center, you know, just casual trip to Target Center. Ta casual trip to Target Center. <laughs> How do we get to that? What would you say, Rachel? Because she, she said Dude Ranch, but there was a specific location. There was a specific location. Can you just think, where is a dude ranch? Like, in the United States of America? Well, well it's obviously West. Like, I believe in you. Remember I wanted to move here and open a Cane's restaurant? Oh, Montana. There you go! She got it! Yeah. Montana. Rachel, if she had said Westview, I would have stopped this whole thing right there. I would have been done. I've been like, I'm done. Okay. Um, What am I studying in college? Oh, athletic training and minoring and coaching. Yeah, you got it. We talked about that. Okay, if money wasn't an issue, what would I buy? A horse or a truck? <laughs> or a dude ranch? Oh, she just did not, <laughs> did not hesitate on that one. Got it. Um, And do I want kids when I grow up? Yeah. And then how many? Two. One boy and one girl. Dude, she got it. That was a good job. So if I'm looking over this right, I think hers is 19 and a half. Right, let me give her one more question. What's a good question? <laughs> what is my most embarrassing moment as a student athlete at the Academy of Holy Angels? Any sport, just pick. Okay, well, I want to say the one where you absolutely ate crap trying to pass it to Frankie. Like, just boom. Floor shuttered. Boom. Pretty sure there's a dent there because, like, I don't even know what happened. Rachel, this trip completely destroyed her knee. She's got floor burn scars still on her knee. Or <laughs> was that the Creek Deer Ball game, or was that another one? That's another one. Yeah, okay. that was another Richfield. one. We played Richfield. Yeah, we played Richfield. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't know. Come on, one more. Just throw one more and see if you can get it. Like, soccer. Okay, you got, like, narrow it down. Soccer. Softball. It's, it's, it's basketball. Like, something from when I was there? It's from this year. Oh. What did I, what did I do at Fridley? Fridley? When we were at Fridley? Yeah. I don't remember that game. I just remember being <laughs> wanting to go home. Yeah, we were, um, all was spot out with like 12 minutes left to go in that game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you not remember? <laughs> all three throws? <laughs> oh, I wasn't even thinking. Dude, she, okay, so Rachel and I like, we, like either one of us is like on for free throws or the other one is on, like it's never both of us. And like beginning of the season, like I couldn't miss a free throw and now I can and Rachel's finally making free throws. Where she got fouled, I don't even, comes up for the first free throw, completely air balls. No, I, I missed the first one and Danny goes, more arc on the ball. I go, okay. Doesn't even like, I'm like sitting there at the top of the key, like watching. I'm like, yeah, more art. Rachel, that just didn't like hit anything. Didn't hit the broad side of a bar. That's okay. Was it like that scene in Space Jam where it, it was just the arc went so high that it went over the backboard and hit the concession guy? I literally go, oh God, that's short. And then I'm, and I look, I turned around and looked at her and I go, we never speak of this ever again. We're never we're talking about, about this. Uh, she forgot, so you're good. So I guess we're still at 19 and a half. Oh. <laughs> Give me so, one more, one more, one, one more. more. Oh, God, Cassie. Cassie's, 
because he's desperate to match. I know. I'm. <laughs> okay, let me think. Well, while you think, Rachel, uh, Cassie, your mother chimed in. Apparently, there is a picture of you looking at Rachel's dislocated finger. I'm not sure I want to see that picture. Shut up! There's a picture! Apparently, there is. <laughs> Wait, I actually want to see I that. I really want to see it. You can go ahead and see it. I, I, I'm like dislocated. Throw it to the group chat! Throw Come it to on, the group please chat! Please send it to the, group, send chat it right to the group chat right now. <laughs> Oh my god, what's it okay? Um Yeah, the sign of blood, all of that, that freak grosses me out. So okay, well, it wasn't I don't like blood. Just... It was it wasn't blood. No, no, but I'm saying like I, yeah. so dislocated joints that uh, I don't need to see that either. I, re I just remember like almost puking in that Duke Louisville game when Kevin oh, Ware when, when, when his when his knee just <laughs> knee just snapped and it's like Oh and okay. like and nobody will ever jump again. No. So, have you thought of another question, Rachel? Okay. Like, yes. And I, I feel like you can. There's, there's arguments. What is my favorite franchise, like, movie franchise? Okay. Well, that's hard because it's like 45 different. I will take two answers to this. Okay. Well, so. What I mean? What's I the name of my table? More Marvel or DC? Mm -hmm. Oh, love well, Star Wars. There's so many because like. You, you are obsessed with Harry Potter. Sorry, just keep going. <laughs> Star Wars, spent heck of a What lightsabers, time. like which, oh, you've got multiple lightsabers. So I built this one in Florida. This is like my favorite, like one of my, Good I job. got to build it. And then like, it has like, like I have like crystals. I was gonna say, is it just the hilt or do you oh, have and then a this one, blade? So this one was the Reforged Skywalker. So the one that Ray fixes in, um, uh, the, the lightsaber. <laughs> The lightsaber that has its own story, like that has a deeper yeah. story than what Jar Jar or the Literally. or the sequel trilogy, which was like, wait, what am I? What? Yeah. So that'll be. Ex I, I can't wait to hear the backstory behind that lightsaber in a future series. So, but do they are they just tilts or do you have blades that attach? To I them? have blades. Hold on. What have I done? Wait, I so got you blades. Can, you can argue like anything, right? I mean, because you're Hufflepuff for Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie though, we've had um, lightsaber battles. So much to the fact that we've like broken one of the blades. I got two blades in Florida, we broke one of them. It got intense. Because I learned that if you swing it right, it's just like a uh, softball bat. And so it's kind of like lightning. She's, she's, she's zooming. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, but yeah, no, it gets intense because we're both so competitive. And. Is that purple? Yeah. Okay, that's fiber crystal color. Yeah, purple. You probably know why. You probably know the story behind the purple lightsaber. Always, yeah, because Samuel L. Jackson wanted a different color. Okay, this is what's really funny about that story is he's like, I want to be like, I want to stick out when I'm on like the battle, and, and everyone's like, dude, you're the like, you're the only black Jedi. Like, it doesn't like, like you're gonna. You're gonna but, stick hey, out. I, knowing who he is, it's like that is exactly something he would say. Like, right. I want to see myself. Right. <laughs> so he got a purple lightsaber. I'm like, right. Have you seen him as like Nick Fury or Mace Windu? I'm like, dude likes to stick out. So seriously. Like, hey, and you know what? We've got what a gold one at the end of Rise of Skywalker and there's a I love white, her lightsaber. Ahsoka Tano has the white lightsabers. We have the dark sabers. So I think all we're missing is orange among the major colors. Yeah. I have a green. I like you can change your crystals in like the one I'm built. So I have a yellow and white crystal and then a red crystal too. So I have four, which is cool. But I'm a geek. I'll give her the point. It's I was going to say, yeah, the whole thing on franchises, I think I like I don't think you could answer that because no. we just saw Rachel's lightsaber collection. Everyone's going to be like, what a freaking nerd. Like, they're going to be like, she's like, oh, it's a like big athlete, like jock. And it's gonna, they're going to be like, what a nerd. She plays video games. She's the Dungeon and Dragons. Leave me alone. Minecraft. I think I saw you playing Minecraft on Twitch once. Yep. yep. <laughs> and I don't like, hey, there's another uh, Eden Prairie athlete, big into the MCU, big into Hamilton. So it's like, hey, right. we, we, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fandom out here. <laughs> I play a lot of GTA Five. 
to this point, I think I still may be the deepest Pokemon player of all the basketball people I know. You I probably are. Any... I'm probably a close second, though. I've beaten all of them up to the I, newest it's, one. It's gotten to the point where I've taken up shiny hunting because it's so much easier in G8. Like, hey, I'll just go shiny play. hunting. I, I've want... gotta... I need to get back into Pokemon Go. Like, I used to play that so much. And I just, like, it burned my battery so quick that I was like, I need to stop playing this. Like, I I'm going to say, you need, like, a phone that has a super large battery that can... Yep. That's probably the way to do it. But yo, you should see me. I think I've played 400 hours on sword, just shiny hunting. Like, hey, let's see if I can go find this. I don't have a shiny one of this yet. And then when they do the uh, shiny raid uh, weekends, I end up finding more shinies that I didn't intend to find just because, oh, let's see, maybe I'll get a shiny here. Right. <laughs> You're like, I remember the first time that happened, I'm like, wait, what? That's a shiny? Because <laughs> they were wait so Wait a minute. So yeah, I... I uh, I'm like I, I'm outing myself as a nerd too, but it's like if you you've got your lightsaber collection, I should show you my shiny Pokemon collection that I've built. <laughs> and then the hilarious part is when I get those like hack shinies or the like in uh, surprise trades of like okay, that this I could tell this was uh, not legitimate. I got a right. shiny I got a shiny Mew that way. I'm like that doesn't sound yeah. right. Like yeah, that I don't think that, like I mean I'll hang on to it. I'm like hey, blue Mew. Oh. Right. So I think if I've scored this correctly, well, Cassie got 20 and a half, but she needed 22 questions, I think, to get there. <laughs> Rachel got 20 and a half of 21. I would say, though, that sounds about right with your friendship that <laughs> your percentages would be in the upper 90s. <laughs> <laughs> now we need to go get Twix ice cream. Yeah. Twix ice cream. You have one more season left with softball. How excited are you as we get closer to vaccinations and getting back to normal? I don't know where we'll be by the time softball season starts, but the prospects look a lot better than this time last year. I think for a lot of us, we have exhaled to an extent, but the two of you get one more season together. How will you make the most of it? Oh, just like we, like we came into this basketball season saying, being grateful for every single opportunity we get to be on the court together. And it's the same thing for softball, right? Like just being grateful that we get to be on the court together or on the field together, whether she's in center field, first base, I'm catching, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna be grateful to be together for the last couple of months. Yeah, um, I know like going into the basketball season, like we didn't know how much we were gonna get. And so I think we just made the most of every opportunity. And um, now with the softball season like coming up, right? Nipping our heels and uh, the basketball season coming to a close, it's definitely like starting to become more of a realization that we're done together in less than three months. So. Yeah. What are you emo? I, I know. Just like, he's I'm like, sorry. I'm excited for <laughs> softball season. You're so emo. That's depressing. <laughs> so before you go and get food, what have we learned from this podcast? Rachel is a psychotic teddy bear. <laughs> Cassie hasn't watched WandaVision and she is a mix of emo. Like she can go from emo to sappy to perky. Like yep. that. Hey, Morgan, question. What was your first initial, like when you watched me play basketball, what were you like, what were your thoughts? You have to speak loud when I can hear you. you or, be, or you want, or just come coming. in. Come to the She's break. coming over. I was going to say yes. What, so we have the description. Oh, okay. She was like so intense <laughs> was the way. <laughs> She's just screaming the whole time. And like I, the, my initial impression, she goes, she dives for a loose ball. And you know, when you see like a basketball player, like dives for a loose ball, like they go down on their knees, they grab it, they get full on like soccer goalie, like <laughs> dive. And I was like, oh my God, like literally lays her body out, blood guts all over the floor. <laughs> That's my description. There you go. Psychotic. Psychotic. That's a good word. Yeah. Hmm. Morgan, I was telling them I've seen that too. I didn't see any floor burns or blood stains, anything like that. But I can tell you the time when Rachel was diving for a ball and it got her, it got her an assist. It got me as an assist. Uh, yeah, I did. And she got an assist. I bet you Frankie still looks at you wondering how the heck did that yeah. happen? Dude, I don't, you replayed that and we keep watching it. Well, yeah. How did that even matter? I don't know. Okay, they're yelling at me. I yes. I, we really well, I like do, two hours. <laughs> yes, we've been talking for a while. I had a feeling it might come to that, but you, I appreciated this. This was a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of editing to do, but <laughs> rather have too much than too little. This is exactly. better. I do appreciate it. And 
I'm glad the two of you were able to complete a basketball season and get one more chance to experience the state tournament, whatever happens. And I hope you get the chance to do the same on the softball diamond. I know it's been tough for everybody and everyone has felt differently about what we should do, what we shouldn't do. But I said this before we started recording, no matter what, I will support the athletes who are willing to take that chance to continue to do what they're doing. There's no right or wrong answer. Everyone doing what they can to stay safe. Right. Yeah. But uh, I do hope there are a few more moments. I got a few photos from Cassie's mother. I wouldn't mind one more picture where the two of you give each other weird looks. Where's <laughs> like the, those, um, where's, the, the two of you are in your masks and you're giving each other the stare down. Well, like, there's one, there's, there's one, one from last year. We'll, we will we'll, find, we will it. find, we'll find it. it. I am sure you will. Well, you go really get food. I, I don't want to make Morgan angry and turn into public enemy number one at Gustavus. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's okay. going to Chipotle. Oh yes, well, you she's go get food. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure to have you two on and it was a pleasure to introduce Morgan to yeah. our audience. I guess I have a reason to check out Gustavus now, two reasons now. There you go. But thanks for taking the friendship quiz. And Cassie, I will hold you to your guarantee that you will get Frankie and Rebecca Little to come on. Okay. Uh, I'll, you I'll are the ambassador. You're the one who you've got the connections. You make things I'm happen. The responsible one. Yes. I'm glad you are because otherwise who knows what Rachel and Morgan would be doing right now. <laughs> the two okay. of you are both responsible. I think you, let's, I'll leave you with this. Rachel is so responsible. She won the Athena award for Holy Angels. There you go. How responsible she is. I don't know what will. So the two of you are both responsible, upstanding individuals. And I'm glad the two of you have graced us with your presence all these years. So thanks again for the friendship quiz. And I can only imagine the stories that will come just in this podcast. Oh, you're <laughs> not living any of this down. <laughs> I don't think I'll live any of this down either. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Kowicki and Cassie Karen, we will have more friendship quizzes coming your way on the Mic'd Up Sports Series. So be sure to tune in for future editions. Until next time, thanks for watching.